Hey guys, Clarkson Warrior. Uh, I have this great video um, about this kind of iPod Touch iPhone app and computer. You need a computer to use. It's called Snatch and Snatch Test. Snatch Test is the light version and Snatch is the full version. And basically, what it does is uh, it allows it gives you a multi-touch trackpad uh, on your iTouch to wirelessly connect and control your um, laptop or desktop, Mac or PC, and it works on, like, even if you have an older one, as you can see here, it's an iBook, you probably can't see there, but, um, and, you know, that's from 2001, and, uh, it works great on this, I mean, it's, uh, it's really pretty awesome. So, uh, it's on your iPod Touch or iPhone, go in the App Store, Snatch Test is free, so I'm just gonna show you what that is, what it is, it's, it, it's just a tracking pad where you can scroll around like that and then you can connect to that and scroll and click so it's free and you know I used it for a little bit and it works great but then I said well I have $50 in my iTunes account I might as well buy the full version so if on this full version um, and another thing here with tracking you can customize like the speed friction inertia and um, what what you do is uh, you go to Hoofian. I hope I sp pronounced that right. I'll provide a link in the description over there. Yeah. Okay. Um, of the website, and um, you download uh, Snatch Server. And um, for me, because my iBook is uh, running on Tiger. Um, I know that's really old and stuff, but uh. I downloaded Tiger Snatch Server, and um, what I did was set it up, and you have to put in your like IP address, and uh, you, it comes right here. It shows you everything you need to put into here. You put your uh, connection in here, and um, you do it manual connection, but um, uh, oh, I don't know why it's not working. Uh, one thing I you have to do have is uh hold on let me just is have them running on the same uh wi-fi network all right so i put that back on um so then i'm gonna open it up and uh so um the main thing for this is the tracking where you can do that click on it and um, see if I can get the connection here. It does not seem to be working right now. It's ticking me off. Oh wait, I, wow, I feel retarded. Sorry, anyway, I opened it up, and um, up here, I chose it, I uh, made it so that, as you can see there, um, now that's purple, it's working, I got it. So now I come back here, and uh, See the mouse right there? Without doing this, see you can do that. There's also um, the scrolling for websites so you can scroll easily. Launch pad, uh, what you can do is right here you can say I wanna open up Safari and Safari will open up. And um, then you can go back to tracking, go over to there, click on it, you know, you can type in keyboard right here and everything's landscape too so I'm gonna type in YouTube and then as you can see oh sorry YouTube's going and then you can go back to tracking and um you know it's it's really great you know you can connect to a lot of uh computers you know I'm doing this whole thing and and uh right from my hand and you know it's good if you have a presentation and you don't want to be typing around the keyboard so it's hard to see and um what's the other thing a sports multi-touch my my computer doesn't so now if i have to do anything multi-touch i can use my ipod and then i'm just show you the scrolling one thing i found with scrolling is like like webs uh websites like youtube they have a search and they put you right into it and I could never figure this out why I couldn't scroll. 
But you actually have to click out of the search. Uh, yeah, so see now it's not doing that. And then... It should scroll. Okay, yeah. As you can see, my mouse is right there. And... Scrolling. All right, so actually, I'm just gonna. Um, so yeah, as you can see, you know, you could easily click on in. Um, for the launch pad, you can put all your application app, uh, sorry, applications on it. All you have to do is, which I find this weird that you can't just like type it in here or something. You actually see you have Finder, Safari, and Snatch Test Server. You actually have to like open up the application via this thing. So I'm gonna try system preferences. And I've tried this before where I deleted Safari and then open it up with this and that's how it worked out. And see here, now system preferences up there. So that when you do close it, you can go back to launch. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Well, launch launch pad. Okay, oh wait, now I, I think I know what I did wrong. Uh, you have to open it up, go to launch pad, then you have to drag the icon over to the favorites. So now it's gonna be there. I'm gonna close it out, go back to launch pad, and it's gonna be right up top, so I can just go like that. And system preferences opens. And then you go back to tracking and close it so you can connect to multiple computers laptops desktops whatever Mac PC doesn't matter you have a great keyboard all spaced out um, you have a launch pad for launching anything scrolling easy scrolling there tracking uh, you can customize the mouse buttons like if you want three you know like that uh, one on top bottom inertia inertia is a like when you stop moving it it keeps going like the momentum of it and stuff but uh, I don't like inertia so uh, it's really great you know wireless um, I really like it I actually think it I don't know why but it seem, my computer seems to work quicker easier kind of ish with this on and um it's great so now that you don't have to like move your hands around you know you could just sit comfortably just like this and uh really just hold it in your hand and just use your entire laptop without that much effort so it's really great all right so uh you have to go to hoofian.com to download snatch test server and then once you do that you install it and you know, all that stuff I put it right here just so it's easy and then you have to go to the app store too uh, to get snatch test or snatch snatch test is free snatch is four dollars so um but snatch test it's just tracking snatch is the paid version and you can do a lot lot more and uh you know if you have if you, if you want just for tracking just to like test out and stuff, you know, go with Snatch Test. Try Snatch Test first before you get Snatch, but I do highly recommend Snatch. It's a great app, and I think I like it. I do like it. Um, I don't know. I just thought of another thought has nothing to do with this, but uh, I don't know if you guys um, I don't know, but I just thought of a good background idea. Uh, if you're shooting any videos, kind of like my videos, you know, that's my bed, actually. And I just basically cleaned off my floor, although I didn't vacuum it, but... And then, um, pull my, uh, uh, what's it called? Like, you know, this quilt thing. Yeah, I don't know what the name is. I blink out a lot. But, um, I just pulled it down, and that's a great backdrop, and, um... You know, that's if you want to do any, if you have, like, make videos like me or something, 
you know, that'd be a great, great, uh, great thing to do as a background and stuff. All right, Clarkson, we're a review of Snatch and Snatch Test, so thanks.